Hi everyone and welcome to the Adiona Living Channel where we share with you tips and tricks to help you live your healthiest, most productive life. Today we're going to be talking about 10 ways to get more sleep bang for your buck. Did you know that in the US, 27% of people struggle to fall asleep and stay asleep each night? 68% of people struggle to fall asleep at least once per week and 41% of people who use sleep aids use them for more than a year. Today I want to help you not be one of these statistics. Stay tuned to the end of the video where I'm going to share with you the terrifying reason that you should avoid sleep aids if you can. Tip number one is to eliminate blue light at night. Blue light that emanates from your screens, whether it's your computer screen, your cell phone screen, or even your TV, interferes with melatonin production, which is the hormone responsible for having a good night's sleep. There are a few ways that you can eliminate blue light. You can either just go to bed when the sun goes down and wake up early, or you can use a blue light blocker. You can either use glasses, like the orange glasses that are specifically designed to cut out blue light, or you can use an extension on your computer like Flux, which is F.LUX, and that is a free extension that cuts down on the blue light as you go into the night. Number two is to black out your room. You may be surprised at how sensitive you are to the light that comes into your room at night. You can either use blackout blinds or you can put up some kind of foil in your windows and to get the light under the doors you can use some towels and this works great for children as well. And a good rule of thumb is that you should be able to put your hand in front of your face and not be able to see it. You should have your room that dark. Number three is to stay comfortable. The ideal temperature for your bedroom at night when you're sleeping is 60 to 67 degrees Fahrenheit. You should also make sure that you have a comfortable supportive mattress. If your mattress is more than 10 years old then it might be time for a replacement. Make sure that you have supportive pillows. You can even get a specially designed knee pillow to support your legs and make sure that your room is free of allergens and irritants and free of noise. And if you have a noisy room for example, a partner who snores, make sure that you use earplugs. Number four is a little device called HelloSense, and this costs $130, so it's a bit of an investment, but the HelloSense uses different sensors to detect the humidity, particulate content, and temperature in your sleep environment to make sure that it's the ideal conditions for sleep. So if you're really struggling with your sleep and you think it might be your sleep environment, then that might give you the peace of mind that you need. Number five, if is apps. If you don't have the budget for HelloSense, then you might want to consider using an app like Sleep Cycle, which has a lot of the same features as HelloSense, but for a fraction of the price. I think it goes for a dollar. Number six is Neroon. Now this is a very high-tech device. This costs $300, so it's a bit of an investment, but it's a smart sleep mask and it monitors your brain activity while you sleep. And this can help you fight severe sleep conditions such as long-term insomnia, jet lag, or even lucid dreaming. If you're considering taking sleeping pills, then maybe you might want to try spending the money on this sleep mask instead. Number seven is tart cherry juice. Montmorency tart cherries are naturally high in melatonin, which is going to help you get a good night's sleep, but their juice is also high in tryptophan, which is an amino acid that's this precursor to, to serotonin, which also helps you get a good night's sleep. Number eight, pick a sleep schedule and stick to it. Going to bed at the same time every day, going and waking up at the same time every day, even on the weekends, is going to help you get a good sleep routine, help you go to sleep faster, and help you stay asleep once you're asleep. Number 10, exercise. Vigorous exercise is the best, but any kind of exercise throughout the day, just staying active is going to help you feel sleepy in the night and get to sleep faster. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, there are negative consequences to long-term sleep aid use and I actually spoke to a sleep doctor who shared with me that long-term use of them is associated with loss in memory and decreased attention so it actually starts to affect your brain so if you can do anything to avoid taking sleeping pills then you should try it so I hope you'll give all the tips in this video a try let me know if any of them work for you or if you learn anything new and I want to hear from you too. If you have anything that you've tried that helped you deal with insomnia or helped you get a better night's sleep, then please let me know in the comments. Stay tuned for next week's video on designing an ergonomically correct office space. Thanks for watching. Bye.